Okay, today I'm going to talk about uh, Lionel's representation of the uh, S2 turbine. And the one we're looking at here, this is the uh, first year of production. This is from 1946. It's a 671. And it's got the um, 671W tender with it. Um, this is probably my favorite turbine. Um, this is a smoke bulb version that has not been converted. Um, one interesting thing about that bulb in there, it's the same as the uh, 1156 automotive bulb, save for the dimple they, they put in it. So if you ever want one just to uh, work as a light and not necessarily smoke, you can go to your local auto parts store and buy an 1156 automotive bulb. Um, this unit has the uh, nickel rims on all the drivers, and it also has the uh, horizontal motor which is different from all the other turbines and also there's no E-unit uh, lever coming through the boiler shell and it has the horizontal uh, mounted E-unit and one thing about that E-unit there's a little spring inside that uh, goes in the bore where the, uh, the ratcheting pawl rides and it acts to return the pawl because it, there's no gravity to sink the pawl down and the, the reason I'm saying that is if you ever have an E-unit with a sticky paw on it, you can get one of those springs and install it in your E-unit and it'll work every time. Um, I don't remember exactly now. I think it's a direct fit. I know the paw in this uh, train has a little step down end to accommodate the spring, but I think the spring fits in the regular E-units too and works just fine. Um, the only thing you'd probably have to do if there was any interference is shorten the spring up a little bit. But you can install those in the, the regular E units and it'll stop uh, a sticky unit, E unit and it works great. Now, this uh, train, if you uh, want to change the, uh, or if you want to activate the E unit, you just take the little uh, jack in the, inside the cab and you switch it to one of the two different positions. And the one position that activates the E unit and it works like any three position E unit would work. And then if you want it just to run in one direction, you just plug it into the other jack, which is basically just a dummy holder for the jack, and then it runs in the uh, whatever direction you want it to run in. And it's, it's a nice tender, too. It's got the uh, all the railings on it. Um, one thing about these tenders, too, I don't know if anybody knows this, um, when you go with the numbers, like say you have a uh, W versus a WX tender, the WX tenders have the uh, only the top railing on the back there so if you have a, a tender with a WX suffix that X means it has the tender railing there this is a this is the early 671W with the full complement of railings and the uh, and the magnetic coupler in the back and this train runs uh, runs very good and actually uh, if you drop a smoke pill into the uh, smoke bulb, it actually smokes all right. I, I, I do that from time to time whenever I, whenever I run this. And it, it, uh, it doesn't pour out smoke, but it does smoke. Okay, this next example here. Now, this is the 671 from 1948. And the reason I know it's from 1948 is this one has the blackened rims on the uh, first and last driver. As opposed to the earlier years, it had... Uh, thick rims on all the drivers and this has now the conventional uh, E unit lever going through the top of the train and this came with the um, 2671W uh, streamlined tender which is uh, a really nice tender and uh, some of these tenders had uh, actually a backup light installed and there were some lenses that went to the, uh, the little holes in the back of the tender and uh, those are uh, more rare if you can find one. Um, this had the uh, Lionel Precision motor with the uh, the tubular brush holders as opposed to the integral brush holders where the brushes just drop into the back and the little uh, wire spring holds them in. These uh, these brush holders are, are like I said, they're the tubular ones that are sealed off and it's, it's a little bit different. And this has uh, now instead of the smoke bulb, it has the regular uh, Nichrome wire wound resistance unit for the smoke uses the pills. And it's a good runner too.
Now this example here, this is the 671RR which uh, was put out during the Korean War, I think it's 1952 that this was uh, put out. And what this one is, this is a 681 without magnet traction and it has the, uh, the center drivers with uh, no rims on it. I don't know if you can see right there but there's kind of a hole right between the uh, first two drivers there. And that's where the uh, the magnet would have been had they stuck in the uh, the magnet for magnet traction, but this didn't come with it. Now this one here, this has a uh, 2046W-50 tender on it, a streamlined tender. And uh, other than the no magnet traction, it's the same as a uh, as the Lionel uh, 681 turbine. Now this one here, this example here, this is the uh, Lionel 681 and this was made uh, from 1950 and 51 I think again in 1953 and this is uh, three position unit uh, it's got magnet traction slant mounted motor with the uh, integral brush, brush holders and this has the nice uh, 2671W streamline tender with the uh, six wheel trucks Now the last uh, last example of the turbine I'm going to look at today. This is the Lionel 682 with the uh, 2046W-50 uh, streamlined type tender. Now this uh, this example here was probably made uh, I think in 1954-55, and uh, this is the same as a 681 except it's got that little. Uh, additional valve gear there that uh, adds all kind of money to it when you go to buy one <laughs> and uh, it's it's a good performer with magnet traction and uh, regular uh, slant mounted motor with the integral brush holders and the pill type smoke unit and that's uh, that's my collection I'm going to send a couple of these things around the uh, layout